And welcome, DreamWalks, who's gonna play a video of uh, any front time this morning. And um, yeah, so we're back doing some more gameplay videos of this, or I hope so anyway. Um, and I'm here sitting in the match. I uh, actually, I'm recording this because, well, I, I spent six minutes just looking at the menus trying to find a match with people in it. And this is a match with people in it, but, and I'm still waiting for them to set the game. So, um, am I the host? Uh, it just came to my edit. Am I the host? I don't think I am. I wish I was the host, it'll be much easier. So, um, yeah, in the last, uh, in the last gameplay video I put up, uh, I said that I would come back after the main campaign and play some, uh, and play some multiplayer. Mainly because I really sucked at it the first go around, and that really didn't, and I didn't really give it a good chance. I mean, I did give it an excellent chance. Oh, seven, 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 seven out of twelve. Come on, come on, host. So, um, yeah, from what I, uh, so yeah, I mean, that's why I'm back. And also, um, I, I think, I've been getting a ton of comments off that one video, and plus a ton of views. I'm, like, over 600 views for that one video. And it's basically, like, ho ho just holding my channel. It's basically, um, carrying my channel just because. And, um, yeah. And plus, I want to try multiplayer again, but it's been really difficult because, well, there's not many people playing multiplayer. Oh, come on, we lost one. And, um, yeah, and, and I decided to do a little bit of a review for this video and tell you what the game's like, uh, because I've also been getting a couple comments about that, what the game's like, is it a uh, okay game? And I'm going to just say this right here, I am going to be the only person you ever find that actually likes this game in any manner. To, all, to other people, this game just sucks. And, like, I'm, they're not wrong. They're not wrong. But I do like it because uh, the few things where it's worth getting. Like, it's a historical War II game, and there hasn't been any lo and, it, and there hasn't been any campaign or historical War II games in years, to my knowledge. I mean, the last uh, game, the last the last War II game with a campaign was a. Uh, was on Wolfenstein: The New World Order, and that didn't, and that game didn't take place, and that game didn't really take place in World War II at all. So, um, yeah, and also I really like that music right there. So, uh, yeah, this is a really good historical uh, World War II game, and and it really, and also, and you know, added to the fact that, that it takes place in Poland for the majority of the game. And you're playing as a resistance fighter instead of American war hero. You know, you can be classified as such. And, um... Yeah. And also, there's a good selection of World War II guns. You got the 45, you got the trench gun, you got the um, BAR knockoff, you have uh, the World Rod, you have um, Sten, you have uh, uh, the Luger, and MP40. Oh, and even the, um, and even the car. So, it's not showing that respect, and that's the main reason I got this game, is to play with the, to play around with the railroad. Because the last game I remember with the railroad in it, uh, that you can actually look down the site, was, uh, Medal of Honor Rising, no, Medal of Honor Rising Sun, Rising Sun. That came out, I, I don't even know when, it came out a long, long time ago. Like 2005-ish, five -ish, if I'm right, which I could be wrong, but um, yeah, and also there's um, the, the graphics, the graphics suck, let's put that out there, the graphics just suck, it take, it's a CryEngine game, but the graphics just don't do it justice, like, even though this game was developed in 2011, the graphics just make no sense, 
They're, they're kind of uh, they're kind of like an eyesore. And animations are kind of clunky and uh, not done very well. But that doesn't mean much. To me, anyway. Uh, it's, it helps a little. It helps a little, but still. And, um... Yeah, but what, what this game really shines in, other than the basic gameplay, is the music. The music in this game is just amazing. Like, all the resource... All their money went into just making, uh... Just making a, uh... You know, just making the music. Which I like. And plus, the sexual edition actually had the music with it. Or not the music, they, act, they actually has the soundtrack with it. So that's nice. And, um... And what else is this game really good at? Well, the gameplay. You can, you can do... You can either rush people and you could just... Be a commando and just kill everybody, be assault. Uh, or you can stealth. Or do both if you want. I and when I when I played the campaign, I did basically both. I stealthed when I needed to. I killed. I just you know decided to be a shooter when I also needed to, and when stealthing just failed me. Or and sometimes I put out some I pulled out some sniper late and hid in a corner away for them to come and get me. And that's been and that's my main strategy. So that's cool. Um, even though the majority of the levels you don't get a choice. Uh, do, do stealth, which I find is saddening, but still, still it's fine. But the, but the levels that do allow you to stealth, they're really good. And, um, yeah. And the story, the story is just above average for shooter, which is better than nothing. Um... I mean, uh, playing as a, playing as an American co war correspondent that uh, joined the French that that first joined the French Resistance when uh, he was trying to get out of the country when uh, when the Nazis invaded, and then going and then him following the resistance from all the way from France to Poland as the war progressed, which is a very interesting story. Uh, if uh, if you want to find out more about the story, you can check out my. Uh, my ever in me front playthrough playlist and uh yeah and this, and this game still hasn't started yeah i'm thinking that i will actually have to uh uh just make a video showing that i can't make any gameplay videos because well the match ranking is not that good I mean, there there is a matchmaking to speak of. So yeah. Well, uh, I'll, I'll wait to uh, 14 minutes, and if the match hasn't started by then, I'll just uh, call it, and I won't be able to do any more, and I won't be able to do gameplay videos of this game, unfortunately. But uh, back to the review-ish thing I'm doing. Uh, yeah, and also the campaign is actually a good decent, you know, it's good. It's a good decent length. It's about eight hours, uh, or just a little over eight hours for me anyway. And um, yeah, that's really nice because most shooter campaigns are under are six or six hours and under, with them uh, with it being uncommon for them being eight hours, which is fine. Again, a little a little above average. So yeah. Uh, let's see if we can find another game. Actually, this was my best bet, and I it didn't work. All right, let's just go around looking at stuff. Check all the possible options. Let's go back to this game. Actually, since I looked at the thing, uh, if you noticed when I was looking at the other matches, it said uh, waiting for seven players. Maybe the host has to wait 
with seven players to join the match in order to start it. So yeah, it's not, unfortunately, it's not, yeah, it's not half or even four people or anything like that. You actually have to wait for seven players to actually start the game, which I don't, which is very, very odd, especially if you should have expected that no one's going to be playing this game much. Yeah, that's saddening. Um, yeah, this is honestly the best bet for the game I could find. Actually, now let's uh, let's check out unranked playlists and see if there's any people playing there. Playing there. Yeah, waiting for some more players. We were playing a rank, that's for sure. Alright, well, I tried to look at that, that didn't work. I mean, I couldn't find any people there, so. Well, let's check out Team Deathmatch. Oh, that one's playing this right now, interesting. Yeah, usually I see people in it. But not today. Let's, uh. Let's give this match one more chance. I guess that's not in my head. Maybe I should try uh, doing a split screen. Because I do have tons of tons of uh, Xbox 360 controllers. But unfortunately, I don't think there's any... Uh, I don't think there's any... Um, what do you call it? There's any split screen. Well, um, yeah, there you go. That, that's, um, that's my gameplay video. Oh, man, we got that unfortunateness. Wait a second, I, I'm, I'm the party leader now. Alright, well actually, let's wait a little bit longer before we end our before we end the video. And see if he wants to join this game. And if they do, and if I can start it, I will start it. I'll, I will wait for five people and then start. If I can. Maybe there are seven more people. That means there must be eight people in the game over the game to start. That's horrible. Well, actually, uh, you know what? Since that session ended abruptly, let's uh, go into a private game. This match. Uh, let's just fool around uh, and see and see what this game and see what the uh, multiplayer looks like. And from what I can tell, uh, there uh, there is no unlockables. There there is no um. Yeah, basically everything's unlocked for you. There are ranks for some odd reason, but there's no unlockables for the for you to get when you rank up. So it makes no sense. Which is a question someone asked in the last video. And I'll show you this when it loads up. And I just noticed something. The loading music and the and loading length actually. Oh. Well, we're playing as uh, the resistance. Which is a US sniper from my uh, pre order. Actually, no, let's. Uh, Oh, you don't even need to be on the same faction in order to... Act. Oh, maybe it's because I'm playing the game death match. I think so. Never mind. I was going to say, maybe you could, um... I was going to say, maybe you could, um... Uh... May maybe the teams... Maybe you could switch... Maybe you could have, um... All the character skins for each team, but, uh... No, they're, they're just in team death match. Alright, let's get the loot waffle up. Let's get to the loot. Loot waffle officer. Can't see that right now. Okay. And then let's fool around. Let's get some guns to fool around with. Alright. Alright. 
Oh, I should have turned off the time limit. Now, let me go over the multiplayer. Oh, we got gun sounds now. Uh, so, there are ranks. But there are, but there are no, nothing to get for those ranks because they're already unlocked. And, um, there's not many people playing, the, and, I mean, um, and there's Team Deathmatch radio transmission and, uh, and then Normal Deathmatch. Normal Deathmatch is free for all Team Deathmatch, or it's teams, uh, two team, one, you know, two teams, you know, you're on the team and, uh, you go kill all the people on another team. And radio transmission, which I think is Capture the Flag. Or not Capture the Flag, uh, Conquest, I think. I don't know. I haven't really looked at that. And, um, yeah, I, th I think that's it. And, uh, the gameplay is actually not that bad. It is buggy as, it's more, it's just as buggy as, uh, Battlefield 4 when it originally came out on all platforms, which is kind of upsetting. Uh, there are some bugs. If you watch my previous gameplay video, which you can check out on my gameplay playlist, which I've linked in the bottom of the script, which I'll link in the description, you can uh, see how little buggy it is. Uh, you can die from bugs, like you can't shoot your gun for some reason, like your gun's on safety, or it's really weird. Okay, where's my grenade? I don't have any grenades. I can kill myself. Okay. So, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, like I said before, the gameplay is not, uh, what am I doing? I'm trying to get my M1 Grand. Okay, it's hard on the D-pad. Yeah, the gameplay is actually not half bad. Um, it's okay. It feels like Medal of Honor is just intended a little. Because it's most of it was okay, I'll be a lot less buggy. Um. But, uh, yeah, you can have fun with it. If you have this game and if you can find some friends to play it with, which I find to be unlikely, uh, you can have fun with it in, in private match. And, um, yeah, that would do it for my gameplay, for this gameplay video. It's been 17 minutes, so, uh, yeah, I apologize for no gameplay, but I showed you why, basically. And I gave you a little review for you, for you to watch in the downtime. Alright, let's switch to our Luger. And, um, yeah, so, unfortunately, I can't do any gameplay videos because, well, there's no one playing the no one's playing the game. And you, you are forced to wait for eight people in the, you know, you're forced to wait for seven other people in the game. Alright, let's switch to the main menu. Which I find saddening, but oh well. And, um, yeah, and in my, uh, I guess, we, I guess we're time, I guess it's time for closing thoughts. Uh, and in my, um, playthrough and the last part in the credits I said I gave this game a 7 out of 10 uh, like I said it's not a bad okay it is a little bit of a bad game but um it's an okay game you can have fun with it it is it's a it's an enjoyable experience if and only if you like historical war 2 games if you don't like historical war 2 games and only a decent shooter this is not it try Battle 4 or Call of Duty or, or actually everything else Oh, maybe if you want a War 2 ish shooter, go with uh, Wolfenstein. Uh, Wolfenstein the New World. Uh. And, um. Yeah. So that, that's what. That's how, that's how I feel on. Uh, that's how I feel on me front. Uh, on me front. Now, uh, like I said before, I'm the only person that will ever say this is a good game. Let me just, let me just put that out there. And I gave it a seven for having uh, for having good gameplay, good good story, uh, excellent music, a good single player, giving the option of stealth or running gun if you choose, and um, yeah, and also why I give why and also why I give it seven. You know the cons are graphics suck, uh, and the graphics suck, and the animations suck, the multiplayer sucks. I mean, the multiplayer, the multiplayer is good, okay, if, if you have friends to play it with. And, you know, if you have, like, three friends and you get into a five-player match, and that might work out well for you. But other than that, it's not going to work. Uh, 
And plus, like I said, it's buggy, it's, everything's unlocked for you, so there's nothing to do basically after you have fun with the guns that you like, uh, and the, and the characters that you like, it, yeah, there's just nothing else for you to do. Kind of like Titanfall, but Titanfall, you had unlockables for like the first, for the, like the first, uh, 15 hours of the game. And, um, yeah, anything else, anything else? Uh, the achievements. The achievements are fun to get. Not bad. Let me ch let me show you my achievements. Basically, there's achievements like this, where you uh, I mean, the achievements like this, where you um, you know, do certain things and you unlock achievement, and then there's uh, uh, complete secondary objective achievements like these uh, and that. And I um, mean, yeah, so if you're looking for some achievements, uh, if you if you're being an achievement hunter and want some achievements, I would say wait for this game to go down in price and then get and then get it. I mean, it shouldn't take more than two months. I'm predicting for it to go down to like ten dollars. So once uh, you get that, I mean, once you can get if you can get this game cheap, then I'll you're just getting this game for one for the story, the gameplay, um, the, the book and selections. Uh, yeah, this game will be worth getting. For a cheaper price, or oh, renting. This, this game would be good for rent. If for rent, uh, to rent for just playing the game once through and getting some achievements, uh, that'd be good. Because this game is eight lo hours long, so you could probably uh, rent it over the weekend and you know and do that. If you can find it in the in the you know in a place where, in a place that rents games for, because it, it would be unlikely for this game to show up there. But still. And, um, and that'll do it. So, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys and guys watching this video. It really means a lot to me. It wants to mean a lot to me if you were to leave a comment here. Or should I tell me what you like? Tell me if you have any, uh, tips on how to play any front. Uh, even if I already know the tip, will still be nice to have it in the comments for other people to do that and know the tip. So, uh, yeah, I guess. See you in a second.